start the day. Um, listen, 10 points separate these two teams. This is a massive one. Sitting in what, ninth right now is Carolina, sixth place is Heretics, but the 10 point separation is everything that matters. This one's probably going the distance. It's just got that written I all mean, over. I mean, Carolina's done that every single match. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. think we would be surprised if it doesn't. Uh, maybe just Carolina build off that momentum last night. Uh, I think the thing for Miami, you've beaten teams kind of below you. You lost to the ones below you, or uh, above you. So they don't really have that top four win quite yet. We'll see if they're able to find that maybe later on. But yeah, a massive win for, for both of these two. Absolutely. And this is one of those maps where, uh, you know, big for TJ and Gwen. We were just talking about TJ yesterday. Like, we're like, this is the best he's been since when? We were talking about the green room. We were like, BO4? It's been a while. Yeah, like, like he's had the moments, the glimmers, but he's been consistently see. playing very, very well. And it's been really, really awesome to see a little bit of a lead here early on for Carolina as they'll hold the P1. They'll be set up for the P2. And uh, I know at least in, in the match against Optic, there were some moments, I think I joked to the group, it was the P2 that had like the perfect setup and then they just got broken in about an instant. I was like, great setup, guys. Let's see if maybe they do a little bit better here. Yeah, well, here's the thing. You have Clay pushed on out, so he's going to hold that in. You have the good spawns. Vinkle, lucky. They're going to try to break towards the back. You're able to find the first one, but it's really just down to Clay. What can he do? He's able to help and find one with Fellow. So far, so good. It's really just Lucky trying to put pressure on this, but because Clay was so far pushed on out, Miami are not here as a squad. Clay might be getting a little like PTSD when he's inside the garage with the, the Renee play the other day. But listen, the fact is they won the series. They got it done. But the blender continues here as it's trades across the board. But you had the numbers early on. The engagements will be heretics that come out of that. It's going to be three in a row now for Real. But it's TJ we're watching on the hunt. It's lucky that's able to get the timing and able to win the gunfight. Hit down to 50 HP, but stays up. Real keeps going, by the way. It's he's now on five in a row looking for number six. In a yeah, cruise. I mean, they try to gamble this a little bit, right? I mean, Miami spawns Ooh. up, and they decide to hit old, trying to finesse around the tree. No cruise for Real. Big gunfight win by TJ. But they really just leave lucky to kind of rotate. He's able to win that one-on-one. -on -one. So Miami, they need to respond with a hill right here. You have TJ Swanny all the way out to Carolina. You to wait for them, but they're able to hit the nades, find that opening. Yeah, at least clear them out of the point for a moment. Try to create a little bit of chaos here. But Real, after the five spree, right back into the mix. We'll see if he can push it out once again. Holding deep will be lucky, and he's doing the damage. Lining up the entire bridge side street, able to shut down two. So no pressure on the hard point. You three players out there for Royal Ravens, they all get locked up. I mean, this is very similar to the P2 for Carolina, where you just had someone so far out. I mean, you're, you're going to have a couple of pushes at this. And you can already tell with Carolina, they're just going to rotate on over towards P4. Felony getting it set up. TJ's going to get garage control and basically say, hey, Miami, all right, let's just do this one more time. Who is going to find that first break? It might be Miami on this push. Yeah, they're at least able to win on one side of it. Look at the, like, the triangle starting to wrap in. I was about to say collapse for Royal Ravens, but you win both sides of it. You get the kill by Copcar. You get the kill inside a garage. Suddenly it falls apart, but you're still spawning out deep by old if you are heretic. So they're trying to rally across, but there is a push here early for Royal Ravens. That yeah, wind spun it out deep, so numbers are there. You have box control. And well, with that pick, Clay was the last one there. So now it's just about getting trophies down, hitting some stuns and nades, and trying to avoid those. Now, how does Carolina want to break this? It looks like they're sending TJ and Gwyn through the middle of the map. Vickle's locking this down. He spots one. I don't think he's going to be ready for the second. The good thing is the front of the hill being locked down by his teammates. We'll see if Lucky keeps it up. He is right now 10 and 6, 5 straight for him. One more for the Cruz. Real came up a little bit short earlier, but maybe some added utility now for Lucky if he can find it. Not going to happen. Once again, this seems unfortunate. Like you saw both POVs, like they're holding one side, hoping for a, a gimme, maybe in a gunfight. They get shot in the side. Yeah, I mean, this has just been a great P3 into a P4 by Miami. A hot start for Carolina, but you fight on back. You don't even get, give them any time in the hill. Now on this transition into, into P5, you're already here. But DJ, as we've been talking about, he has been so good. Didn't need the help of his duo, though, when, when the last player alive for Ravens. And Gwen, who we've criticized pretty heavily over some slow map ones he had over a stretch. But really picked it up yesterday. Solid start here. Not those ones where he's having like a disappearing act where he's double negative. Well, I think you, what you're seeing, we're seeing him with an MCW a lot more. And I know it could be hill specific, but it feels like maybe timing wise, they're trying to slow him down. Make sure that they're pushing together as a team. Uh, obviously, you have to turn those into breaks, but maybe it's just 
it's allowing maybe he's not shining, but their teamwork is better. I swear, than sometimes it just seems like I'll like see him lose a fight with a rival where it's like, what if he had MCW? You might have won. He's like, all right, pulls it out. Like sometimes I swear, it just seems like he gets pissed off by a gunfight and then swaps at times. But whatever, it's been working. You've been getting some massive points, some wins. But right now you're in an 80 point hole, and yeah, ever since really. Well, really, P2, you were at 50 points, right? This That was three straight yeah. hills by yeah. Miami. Now an 80-point lead. We're back to a P1, so Raven's trying to fight for the hill. A couple of headshots come in, trying to hunt down medals on the opposite side. You've had some sprees. Uh, another one at five shut down. Another yeah. one at five for Heretics, but finally just some control here for Raven. Yeah, maybe the good thing, you kind of get slammed over three hard points, but you don't give up some streaks. Maybe a little bit of added stuff for the Heretic side to use. You know you're able to do a little damage through one and two. For Royal Ravens, the rest of it just has to be cleaned up. Because I feel like whenever they've gone into a real, like if it's been like a close game, like a 150-150, or they get into a late game, like they've rarely been able to close out here, at least as of late. And right now, well, that's not even really the combo. You're about to be down 100. There you go, there's a little burst. And they needed that, because that's gonna give them spawns for P2 on this transition, on rotation. And they'd love to get someone push out. First player, though, over towards Pillar is going to be winning. They're actually going to try to pinch boxes. But TJ's going to get called out. Lucky was able to find one. But Heretics right now in a prime position to win this map. Let's go to a listen in with Miami. <laughs> Rail Raven still getting body slammed. It has been all the vamos thus far up over the 200 point mark. Now you get a little bit of time here for your Royal Ravens, but you're going to need a sequence and a half if you're going to bring this back. All right, at Reddit to start out listening, right? You were just like, that That could be the moment. It was Gwyn who had four, but then they were still in trouble. And the worst case for them is they had back spawns with 25 seconds left. Again, P3 controlled by Miami. Who's set up at P4? Who's winning this rotation? But it's just a solid team effort. You have 20 on the side of Metal Zan Real. We're able to earn a cruise finally, just out slaying, but it just feels like they've been putting themselves in better positions time after time. It feels like a lot of the times the Royal Ravens have gotten to like a game five, it's been like success early in the series, and then like the team comes from behind. They haven't been in like big holes usually. They gotta dig out of it. That might be the case here. They might start out 0-1 and have to rally back in the search and destroy with it's had some struggles despite some of their mid-game adjustments as Zan was talking about but just 26 more points needed right now as metal's able to hit some lovely headshots there against the fight towards garage streaks coming in unfortunately it's a team kill lucky finally able to earn one but it's not going to lead to much yeah you saw his reaction right there uh i mean yeah that's just the buff players not quite used to it a little extra explosion and yeah, you get cut off guard. There's, there's, there already were some team kills. There's just going to be some more, it's I imagine. Yeah, the radius. Get away from this thing. Heretics, another opportunity to put this away, though. Bridge side control will be for them. Wanting spawning out. Back alley kind of near old with a chance to pinch this, I thought, in metals. But they already picked that up, so he'll be able to rally back and cut everything off towards mid. It's Real that's doing the dirty work in the middle of the map, or the middle of the point. Metals now in his fight back towards mid. 15 needed for the W to get started. Yeah, I mean, they've just done a wonderful job. Every time there's a pinch, they've won the gunfight. We just saw it there on Fellow. I mean, he's 11 and 22. He's been the most consistent, you know, player in hardpoint for Ravens this stage, really since the major. Not having a great map here, trying to make the plays. 
but everyone has been so solid on the side of Heretics. Yeah, I mean, it's not all gunfights, obviously, but there were a couple times where, like, you'd have a two-on-two -two near a point, like, you win that side of your Ravens, it might lead to a lot of time, and both players lost it on both sides of the point. Both drop, leads to a ton of time for Heretics. I mean, it's happened multiple times. Yes, they've outplayed them, but they've definitely won some key gunfights, as you highlighted. Just three more needed to close out the map one, but Carolina still giving it their all to survive in this game. Not enough here to close it out. Final second ticks away. We're back to mid-map. Yeah, you after that one more time. There's about six seconds left. They're thinking maybe they just hit the scrap time and didn't win it there, but gonna have to break P1. Clay is gonna get picked apart. Last player in position is Gwyn. Can Gwyn buy enough time to get fellow there? Don't think so. Not happening. A great Rio out of Heretics. Yeah, I mean, uh, what, they held them through 51 points, I think, through the first set of rotations. They came out with the absolute fire. We've been talking about that a lot, I think, over this qualifier because it is just desperation time. I think teams think, you know, all times, like, we'll figure it out. We want to make it work, change away from getting better. We'll do this, we'll do that. It, it, it just has to happen now. It is now or never for these squads, and you've been seeing some really great performances for some of the bottom teams. No, I mean, the middle of the pack right now, is, it's a blast. It really is. These yeah. two teams obviously can compete with the best. Uh, you've seen that from Carolina. Miami, ever since the role change, this is the best we have seen medals. Like, consistently, especially in the respawns, he looks good, he looks comfortable. He was this fast-paced entry sub, and I was like, man, what a role swap that will be. It took some time, but he does it here again, leading the way with damage. Yeah, I mean, that helps, and then it also helps to get somebody like Real that yeah. comes in, and he's been a fire plug for you, basically, in every single mode. He's had his moments where he's really stepped up, but yeah, I mean, we worried about kind of Nichols' part of the side of that role change at first. He was struggling a bit, but he's beginning to improve. Missed a little bit of time, and we were wondering if that was going to hurt him at all, but right back into the swing of things as you get going in this map one, and yeah, I mean, it's just a 100-point advantage basically through the first set of rotations, and then it'll look back from that. I mean, I can't wait to see the game flow. But yeah, I think P3, 4, and 5, the first set, just set the tempo. Then, I mean, how many 5 sprees did we have? Like, you see that scoreboard for Heritage. Everyone had moments. They didn't allow Kira, Carolina to have any breaks. It felt like they could never chain the two hills together on the Ravens' side. It was Heretics doing that. And I think you talked about the, the, some of the big gunfights. I think it was the P4, the first set of rotations, where you had, like, your garage side pushed out by Carolina set up. They had one, like, cop car side. They had one, like, the mid-alley cut. All three lost one-on-ones. Like, all three dropped and things fell apart from there, and you just get nothing. Look at that. Look how stagnant it is across that stretch of 51. Like, we were at 51 after P2, right? Like, I was like, yeah, I, yeah. Didn't, I didn't just make that up. No, you did not. You did not. I know I'm getting old. And they just lock them down. Another day older, another year older is Joe DeLuca. But God, you're aging like a fine wine. Just looking so sexy and delightful. I can say that, right? Yeah. <laughs> we get back to it. We got an incredible day ahead of us and some uh, birthday celebrations tonight with us. But at this age, the way we celebrate is we're probably going to growl. Out. He's going to get some uh, hamburgers and hot dogs ready. We're probably going to go for a walk or something. That's how we celebrate nowadays. Like, yeah. Where it's old. It is what it is. Hey, I'm my kid, and that's about it. It's going to be It's going to be my other kid. Is we yeah, I'm your giant toddler. But uh, we look forward to this series as we continue on now to the search and destroy. What are your thoughts about that coming off the map one? I mean, the desk was kind of talked about this high rise search. This has been Miami's like bread and butter. Like I, they are a team. They're five and two on it on the year. Uh, they've had some close losses, but it just feels like they really understand this map. Some of their B setups, uh, especially on that B street, so strong. Uh, just mixing in Real underground with those subs, but. We did hear Fellow talk about it last night. This was one of those maps they really put a lot of effort into it, trying to get better at this. They feel like this is a map that has to be strong for them moving forward. It's a pressure on Fellow. Listen, we, well, we were laughing when he first made the comment about Vickle. Like, was I'm going to push his hairline so back. He's looking like Mutineers Vickle. We were like, what? Oh, what a strike. And then we remembered, oh, yeah, he was on that team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, like, forgot, forgot about that, like, Fellow stretch, because that team actually got really good towards yeah. the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they got great. Charles some big upsets. Just couldn't make it into the top eight. Couldn't quite do it, but uh, yeah, a lot of, uh, I, th I think probably people on social media were like, what the hell, that's Stray, but yeah, they're boys. Uh, they got a lot of uh, relationships going back, and uh, we'll see if you can now get a little revenge, because fellows talk a little bit of smack, but it's Vickle and the boys that backed it up with their gameplay in the map one, taking a look at the S&D defense over the last 60 days, and what do you see in DeLuca? Oh, I mean, obviously both top three and defensive wins here, so we'll see uh, who's gonna have a stronger defense throughout this map, or who's gonna win some of these attacking rounds, steal those away. You can see just what Heretics have done throughout this season on this map. It's pretty much yeah, the opposite of Carolina. We'll see if the work pays off.
some of the efforts you've been trying to do to improve in this particular search and destroy, if it'll pay off here for Carolina or Heretics, who, you know, they had that kind of tandem search and destroy weapon at the major, big part of why they got to a top six. They were beating teams through search and destroy. And the look to continue doing it here as we get ready to hop right into this map too. Everybody just kind of avoiding nades off the start. Pretty slow one. TJ just hits a slide, maybe thinking about the chow. But he will just reposition. So first 30 seconds, not a ton of movement on either side. Just yeah. a slow dance. Yeah, slow dance until it's not. Usually is how it'll play out on a high rise, but this is the buildup. And then we wait for the execute. Eyes on Gwen there for Real, but it's Felony there with the pick. So Metal's going to be the first to drop. That's going to make this offensive setup even worse. And Fellow keeps on going. Able to get another. The one-on-one -on -one that started early in the round on one side for TJ. He's able to flush it out, get the kill. And yeah, I mean, it's slow for 30, 40 seconds. Then once the first domino falls, it all falls from there. And Fellow, who says he's been putting in work, it's looking like it. Yeah, I mean, great round there out of Fellow. He's able to find two kills just from the windows on the defensive side. But... Those were your two ARs, able to find those picks, and that just allows room for Gwyn and TJ to, to push on up and find the final two. It's just one of those maps, like, yeah, there are options for your defense and your attack, but, like, it's just... It's kind of easy to get info and eyes on certain things, or easy. I mean, once you 40 seconds pass, you kind of know what they're trying to do, like, eventually, and then it's just trying to dismantle it, and they do it there. Just playing the info game, the better at tackling the round. It's one of those old shoot offs there on the B street as you had three, I think, from either side. It's a efficient trade, though, for either as you lose one. Yeah, Quinn, though, maybe he finds the route. He's just taking his time looking around. Victor's on the other side. Real and Lucky are underground. You can see Fellow. He's kind of looking at the spawn, so he's worried about maybe one of those players pushing on through. So it just kind of stops after the start, but Lucky's able to find one, give them numbers advantage. Yeah, now you're going to get in behind if you're Real. So things are getting real interesting. There's a lot of pressure on Gwen to make a play. He's at least able to get one, scurrying away, able to stay up. And just instant chows on 12 HP, though, and soaring back. It's going to be Lucky trying to find it. TJ's trying to get there on the help. Gives him enough help that Gwen's able to get back to full HP. Reed Chow, what a great play there from TJ and Gwen, because I thought TJ or sorry, Gwen was dead to rights. Yeah, well, I think Real gives the call out to Lucky. So Real's trying to get there. He's propane, top propane street, giving the comms like, yo, TJ's pushing you. That's why he doesn't, that's why he stops in the window. He turns around like, yo, you're getting chased. He puts a couple bursts in. There was a chance there, a couple of more bullets. Lucky shuts down that round. But Gwen and TJ just able to stay alive, and then they win that two on two. Holy. I mean, when you first saw Gwen get ripped, I thought that round was decided, but they come through with the ice. A little two-man game there from TJ and Gwen as they have yet to drop. And they'll take a two-round advantage thus far. Round one, courtesy of some big plays from Felony in the openers. Now, what do we got here into the round three? Eyes of Bickle as he's watching towards the B cross. Real trying to open things up mid-map with the rival. Utility coming in. One day he's going to hit. That need does a nothing. Let's say Miami's got to be careful here. They just walk up the B Street, does Carolina. You obviously see that cross there from Vickle, but nobody picked up the street. So TJ just hops on up, able to find the first one. Quickly traded, though, so into the three-on-three. Three. A little different than when you have, like, the three-on-three chow up B Street. <laughs> and yeah. then there's nobody home. Clayster, he's got multiple players here to deal with. I like this, just backing up just the read. that That's likely not going to be one. If he hasn't finished the kill, he needs to reposition. He'll do just that. And, yeah, he had more than one that he was going to have to work with. Fellow working his way up propane, trying to find the angle. I didn't think he saw him out wide. He didn't, so medals. That time he was kind of insane. Fellow's eyes just one way. Outside is medals, but Gwen brings it back. This is just a map of patience right now. Just feels like you're getting to your spots, and then who's going to overpeak, get team shot? Now it's down to Clay. One versus two. Hits the Renetti shot, tags the read. Oh, just almost able to snap, but the headshot is through. And I think if he just holds the, the pre-aim there, gets the kill. We're a I little bit dark close. Well, it's, that's it. a rival, so maybe not. I mean, he might have been able to, like, four-bullet joke him, Kinda maybe, like, but... like moving as he's prone. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
but Real, I mean, he just didn't. If, if Clay, there's a little bit more time there to where he had to guess if he like got behind the box or got to one corner or scrambled away, like he's got a better shot. But like he just knew right where he was. He was dead to rights. So you see the centering from Real. He's like, yeah, you're laying in the corner. Best of luck with that. And he'll close it out. A much needed one for Heretics because it was pretty dominant so far from Ravens. Chance to be up 3L. Another one of those uh, chows out on the B Street. And once you get pretty similar to the first round, you go one for one. I feel like a lot of those is like someone gets slammed. Like yeah, one usually, team just gets smoked, normally, but normally it is. just one for one right now. Yeah, maybe just again, just sort of patience on both sides. No over chows. But Joy down trying Dude. to find medals. Crazy timing on both sides. You do have the help though from Carolina. Everybody is here. You have another one underground. Medals in repositions. I see your footsie. He's going to get caught. And normally Miami is in such a tight setup where they're able to help each other out, but you're not seeing that so far. Real has been trying to make plays, but every single time he tries to find an opening, they've already moved, and now Vinko's going to get caught. He looks right. Players tucked away to the left. Gwyn able to get another one. And just look at the way they're playing. They're still like getting to quarters, and they're like, I'm not moving. Yeah, coming to my web. Bomb now getting planted. TJ put it down. Real, he's had some clutches since he came into the league. Can he get another one here? Good chance to do it. And he's taking out two and out to 1v1. Yeah, Real's been looking to make the play. It's taken to this point, but a great chance to do it. Up against Fellow, 30 on the clock. Real's got to find the kill in the defuse. Or I guess just the defuse. Yeah, if he wants to, but Fellow just playing patient. Real just trying to find any angle he can. You have a smoke, so now this is when it gets interesting. What is he going to find? At least force him out. He's able to get the three. Real with the one v three. The extra utility stamps the round. He is so screwed without the smoke. Like. Fellow is so comfortable where he's at, but the smoke you have to check. Like, you know, you're thinking he's probably not going to stick it, but he could stick it. Yep. Pros don't fake. Is he what goes they for said. the check. <laughs> goes for the check and gun to sleep, Real. Well, you set that one up. You said he was looking to make a play. Well, well, and I mean, normally in these sort of clutches, we always talk about the second player. Bomb is down, and this is just one of those. TJ just doesn't need to chow that. He's not weak. He's not Just weak. run away. He, he didn't get any shots into him. There was Bomb's no gunfight to start back that. Back up to the window and play with Fellow. And TJ, who's been so consistent getting back to his sort of S&D pedigree, yeah, you can shoulder that. Well, what we talked about, it's just, sort it. of, it's just sort of You don't nature. need to jump, jump chow that. It's just sort of trade, trade, trade. Yeah, that yeah. is a perfect example of but it. But that's just like your teammate was laying prone looking in another direction. Like, it literally is not you a You can say it, it's dumb. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that was not that was not a good challenge. That was a dumb challenge, you know? I'm just not usually allowed to say you're you're the one that says that. You're the former professional, Joe. Fellow, another first blood into his bag. Is we're to two and two. Behind the big real clutch. Gunfight upcoming. This time TJ able to dash away. All the nades hit, and so is Fellow. Second round, he's able to line up two. This time three. Fellow bringing him back. And that's a big one. You get clutched on like he just did, come back. Fry him, fellow, all smiles. Yeah, I mean, what? One round he's got a double. This round he's got three. They win those rounds. And again, just had a rough map number one. Just couldn't get in his flow. Looking a lot better here in this search. Yeah, he absolutely. I'm not sure about the mustache, but he, he his gameplay is looking a lot better. Uh, it's a choice. It's something, dude. We got we to gotta get rid of that. Maybe it works in North Carolina. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Three straight for him. <laughs> Leading the way for all players right now at six and three. Trying to get some pre-fires in, but nobody home. It was a three-man shall be street again from Heretics and getting pushed up aggressively. We'll be number eight in Real. He's trying to find an opening. TJ at least able to get one as he drops, but what time it kind of timing is it for Real? Love the trigger discipline. And now he lines up two as a result. I lied. I made that up. He only got one, but he's a magician. He's trying to get away. Play behind the smoke. I got no idea how he's alive, but now he's gone. He just saw the panic a little bit there in that second shot. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I thought that was perfect. Such good trigger discipline. Like lines up two so well, but good reaction. Just sort of get out of that in the second player from Ravens and then. I don't think Real knew where he was. Well, he it, the tough part <laughs> that when you play that spot is just like, what do your teammates do? They have to try to help you, but Real just goes right back here on the ground, re-wraps. Should be around Clay here, and he is. So Real with the plays, window on the other side. We saw one, one V3 clutch. Are we going to get another? 
It needs the bomb, though. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Bomb is uh, real far, and it's right in front of Real, and you just have so little time to work with. I don't really know how you win this unless there's some ludicrous ego chow after he wins the first gunfight. Basically, TJ jumping out like he did if someone did that. <laughs> I just saw him hopping up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the second player would have had to do it. This one yeah, really no, would have been the problem. Metals was just jumping up there, just trying to find info. But yeah, they had bombed down. Real sees it. He's got both weapons. I mean, and he makes the plays. It's another, like, what, three-man B Street chow and just sort of Real getting loose, let him try to make a play. And one time it leads to the 1v3 clutch here. I mean, he could have had three. The fact that, like, he kind of reeled it back in and made the play he did, because, yeah, you definitely saw there's a moment of panic, for sure. Like, after the second player gets away, it's like, oh, boy, it's a throw in the round. I'm actually not sure what happened. <laughs> yeah. He just started diving around, like, threw a smoke. I don't even know where the smoke ended up landing, like, bottom. Like, yeah, he was, he was going through it, but he reeled it back in. Big part of clutching that round. Gwen. Well, that's going to be an easy one, because Nate in the hand of Real, so you get one of their playmakers out of the mix as he's on seven. And things continue to roll. Great round here from Gwen. Fellow is about to fall off the map, but Metals puts him down. Metals puts another down as he slides through. Metals suddenly brings him back to a two versus two, and what looks so good for Royal Ravens, not anymore. Yeah, I mean, this is just one of those rounds where you kind of go against your philosophy if you're Carolina. I, I mean, it's sort of been getting picks and then just stopping, grouping up, making sure if we do something, we're going to do it together. And instead, right there, they just get picked apart. Well, they most certainly do, but. It's like Metals versus Gwen right now. Both have got two in the round. As we wind down the clock to 30 seconds remaining in this two versus two, Vickle does have bomb. They've got B side and they're looking to execute on this. You'll be able to get eyes on this from bottom push or from top. Top heli and clay, the plank gets in and you're able to get out. So that's one, okay, I lied. You did not get out. You got hunted down so quick. And I figured clay's gonna peek from top and Gwen's gonna find angle. It was just like a timing thing for Gwen bottom, I thought, but. Honestly, I, I wasn't sure what clay was really seeing. I thought he was gonna get spotted first because he was kind of like going up and down that staircase, but yeah. whoever was top propane, maybe just looking over the bomb. Uh, so clay was able to get into his position. Then gives the calm, like, hey, they're plenty. You saw Gwyn start to work the underground ladder, and timing just works out. I thought, like, Vickle was out. I really did, like, how far he, he got. Fast. But you just, like, I forget how quick, it, it, when you're bottom middle, like, how fast you just get up top and make a play. As Gwyn ends up with three in that round, as he's had a solid one thus far, you lose the map one. But, I mean, individually, he's playing all right in the map one. Doing great here, though. Triple positive, three straight. See if he can play off that hot round as we just continue to go back and forth between these two teams, just desperately fight for those 10 points. And if you're Carolina, you're just making sure like there's no funny business underground. Make sure Real doesn't get loose, because really, outside a couple of those Real plays, this map could be over. Well, like Gwyn, the kick is up. He's just going to finesse away with 43 HP, just able to get away with his life. Everybody looking for the opener. They come through at the same moment. Gwen gets another to four straight. Real able to find one as well. Clay going to recoup bomb. And Lucky's just beating people down. Yeah, I mean, he just throws that smoke and, and runs at that player inside of Jen. So going to give them the man advantage. Meanwhile, his teammates, Victor and Real, trying to reposition, maybe help him out. But so far, this is just all Lucky. He knows where both of them are, puts damage into both of them. Now pressure on Ravens. Repositions for now. Kind of lure them into the wed. Try to get a plant down. Then hopefully you can hop up and pick similar to what you saw Gwen able to do in the last round. Bomb planted. Now goes Lucky. Does he guess right? Clearing corners. He sure does. Clay drops. Gwen gets a kill, but it follows up. You play with the numbers if your hair ticks, and you'll tie us up at 4 4 as nobody can find any separation here. But despite the loss in the round, Gwen. Put on numbers on 11 now. I mean, but Lucky just bought them so much time inside of B. Like, you were trying yeah. to reposition. You were you're clearing corners, clearing top heli. And, and this guy went from inside elevators back into gen, finds a rival, throws a smoke out, able to get another kill, then forces that three on two where he's making the plays and finds the defuse. He got, what, three in it? Mm -hmm. Three in the round there for Lucky. Who, what was, oh, yeah, two and seven before that moment. So hadn't really had too much of a presence, then takes over. And he's had some spectacular search and destroy plays this year. Add another one to the list. 
Offense back over to Heretics. Lucky hits. The nade able to combo there to pick one up backside B. You've got three-man game over towards A, then one playing real deep, maybe for the bottom push. Dealing with that will be medals. You do lose a player, though. So great trade there from TJ to get you to a 3-3. Yeah, just slows the, the round down. Lucky watching that ain't. Oh, oh, Clay actually. He's a lunatic. We're, we're challenging that. Maybe they're co trying to combo with the nade. But that was a, an over challenge and a half. Bit of a heat check in this one. Well, sometimes those, like, you know, they give up the gun for a second. Yeah, you think you did enough damage, you back him down, you just catch him, but you didn't catch him at all. Now Lucky's on five in a row. Well, I don't even know if he did any damage at the start. No, he did. He did yeah. zero. He did zero. But some, sometimes that, like, yo, child, you'll catch him. Hoping Lucky maybe looked another direction. He's just still got his irons there and just puts a couple more in his forehead. So Lucky on five straight. Heretics on a little bit of a run now. Smiles there for medals. We'll see the final one from Vickle one more time. Yeah, you're just seeing these moments from Carolina, just kind of like old Carolina, where they're doing a lot of the hard things and then just some overchals, maybe just not on the same page. Yeah, I think you're right. They were trying to stick it up with a nade for sure, but like he got, Clay got hit like three. Well, a lot of the times, what does that player do if they're caught top heli? They try to run back to their team. So I think that's what Clay's hoping for. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hoping to just get a couple bullets in him as you run away and the nade hits and you get a kill. Instead, yeah, you just kind of held that if you're lucky and you put a few more in his brain. These one off streaks, they're one off a 2 0 edge in this. Real, big first blood, Metals falls it up. Things unraveling right now for Royal Ravens as they're simply being outclassed late in this one. Old Gwenny Poo trying to bring him back, though. Yeah, he's on, what, like 12, I believe, so far? Him and yeah. Real really going back and forth. Okay. He does make this a two on two. Has the smoke to work with. On the other side of the map, it's sort of this Real Gwyn. Old trying to find the openings. Oh, sweet child of mine. Hello there, my name's Gwen. Now I'm on 13. Gwen staying up, scrambling away, but Lucky, Mr. Clutch at times this year. Real's already got a 1v3. Can Lucky 1v2 for the win? I don't know if this is just the pressure of the match or, or what, but this would be another four versus two. Kind of throw away around. I mean, there's way more pressure on this than like a regular online. No, there is, but. Yeah, yeah. It's like neither of these teams are trying to win. <laughs> Just try not to lose, and well, sometimes mistakes will happen. Plan is in. Unlucky now. Can he get this streak? Double chow out. Good luck with that. Great Oof. play there from Royal Ravens. You threw one away because what? It was Real and Metals, the combo to get you a 4v2 early. I didn't I remember how Gwen got the kill, but TJ's just. Hard aimed at top propane. Nothing but headshots. That brings it back to the two versus two. And now Gwyn's on 14 in a round 11. Woo! And that's like a, yeah, that's like a real 2v4. You know, sometimes like a 2v4, but like it's a, a quick trade. Yes, yes. That, 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 was, was, not, that was not that. Yeah, that was nothing for about 10 seconds. 14 and 5 out of Gwyn still in that rookie of the year conversation. Some big performances late in this year could solidify it for him. He's having a massive map too, but all comes down to the round 11 now is the skirmishes on utility out. Push it up here defensively. I think you have a good read on this if you're Carolina, right? It's been a lot of B Street. Real. Real going for the jump up. Clay is there, Gwyn is there in sort of a back-to-back -back setup. Fellow though, normally great at reading these sort of situations. Real gonna spot one and sees the second. He's up to 11. There is a quick trade. And that's, I was going to say right before it started, like you hope he, he only gets one. You hope he only gets one, but okay. Well, he had one 2v4. Is this going to be another? Things are still blowing up. Patch notes do not matter. It's all on fellow. One versus two versus Metal and Lucky in the round 11. He's all the tip of the gun. Oh, but the shot is there. Great shoulder from Lucky. Perfect double chow. Oh out. Thought, they lined up. Team kill. Thought they lined up for a moment, but Heretics just barely able to slip through in a wild one as things started blowing up so did joe's brain yeah i can't believe that happened well i can <laughs> but i can't and, and then i just they line i saw the team kill and i he was close he was a couple of bullets away if that was more of a clean snap well and that's what's that. that's what's crazy because i think usually when we think about like players lining up you know some of the craziest like clutches and craziest SD moments with the lineup it's like a lot of times you think about it's like one player putting bullets with like collateral damage through like two or three but in that type of situation yeah there's some friendly fire like th those double chows can be difficult 
And when you think, like, what does it bring me back to? It brings me back to, what was it, the six star? Uh, with the Thieves Chow on the like Lucky where he killed both. Like just getting the timing right, not shooting each other. The timing's gotta be perfect or things can get a little bit wonky. Almost did, but it's a win for Heretics after a dominant map one. It's a nail biter map two. And it's a 2-0 edge. And this kind of reminds me, like I said, like early Carolina, like this just bomb out of win, but it's a map loss, right? Just some, yeah. you have more first bloods. Just give up some rounds, some clutches that you probably shouldn't have. And then in round 11, it's Real on the other side with 11 and just kind of taste that outer route. And you saw Clay kind of going back and forth, like they knew the timing on it. Usually Fellow is fantastic at that, sort of, hey, this can happen, this can happen. And I think Clay just, there were too many things to watch with their setup. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like Clay's in a good position to sort of be hidden from that play, but the wind's not. Wind's just free. Yeah. yeah, he's just free. And then you're just hoping that there's a trade, but with no damage through, it ends up leading to two. And that was kind of a, that was kind of an ugly gunfight too, honestly, the one between Real and Clay. There were a lot of bullets exchanged. It wasn't all that clean. Both had a great opportunity to win it, but it ends up being Real. Uh, you sort of brought up in the middle of that. He's trying to be a playmaker, and he was. Whether it was the round 11, whether it was the 1v3, some absolutely huge moments. And that's where Real like, instantly had his impact on this team. When he came in and search and destroy, they needed a playmaker there, and he had it at times. No, yes. I mean, it just feels like they allow him the room to do whatever he do wants. Get, do whatever the hell you want on the map. Go get yeah, just made plays. Like, Vickles, I'll play bombs. Yeah. Get out there and eat. And that's exactly what he was doing. Some frustration maybe there from Carolina. The pressure is on. There were mistakes all over the place on both sides, but the fact is heretics are up 2-0. Oh, we continue on in a massive match for the 10 points. We're right back with the control after this quick break. All right, fans, time is running out to make your picks. Choose your winners now by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. Hurry, it closes at 315 Eastern. The Champs Tracer Pack is available now. The bundle includes the Reaper Operator Skin, Ripper Weapon Blueprint, Death Stare Weapon Blueprint, Cuts Deep Charm, two calling cards, two emblems, and two weapon stickers. Use these items in both Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Warzone. Available in store now.
Welcome back after a wild search and destroy, but you're right back to it. We're ready for a map three, and you're trying to find some answers right now if you're Carolina. You saw very anime. I think of the players a little bit frustrated. Things seemed, um, I don't know, a little off in the timings of the comments yeah. maybe at times. Just trying to no, fix it. No, I, I mean, I just don't think this is the Carolina we've been seeing recently. Uh, on the other side, I think for Miami, a, a fantastic hard point. They seem to be on point. And, I mean, that was, that's been their best search. It has been. They are on point right there, but Real goes big. But now we're headed to a Karachi control. And obviously, if you're Miami, you would love these 10 points. Just give yourself a little cushion. Stay very much away from this chaos. Yeah, again, these pillows and the cushions are very, very flat. There's not a lot of cushion at all. But everyone's It's like what you for, use to sleep. Yes, yes. Everyone's trying to find as much cushion for the potion as they can. And to the point early on, it'll be lucky. See if he can get this first tick done. Vickles certainly helping him get things done. Is all the focus going to be on him? They kill everybody. Clay still distracted by Vickle. I mean, that's a great sequence. And then Vickle gets the kill. Frustration still a brewing, I think, for Royal Ravens. They are getting slapped. First kill just came through for TJ. Everybody else has dropped. Picking up the back alley push will be Vickle. He's already on four in a row, looking for number five. And without TJ, you're already working on B. So TJ goes massive, plus he pushes on through. This allows Fellow to get here. A is not done yet, but you do have a six life advantage. So TJ still alive, gonna deal with the reinforcements, but they have to find Vickle. That's gonna be down to Fellow, <laughs> able to win it. I was just wondering, like, who is gonna get an audio cue? Who is gonna get maybe the opening there? But first point is done, 210 to work with. Kills still seem to be flowing for heretics. Already a seven life advantage. Metals in. Surely he's not going to win this one. One burst left. Really in the rain. Getting pushed out. Pinched. I would say if he still comes away with one there, it'd be ludicrous. I mean, TJ's playing his own game right now. He's on four in a row over towards Junk. He's pretty much allowing his team to get back to this point. Uh, he did it before they captured A. He's doing it now. See all the pressure that is focused on that man. Finally, they're able to take him out. Clay, you're going to have to rotate all the way back towards B. Yeah, and once he drops now, things might really unravel onto B as you start to get those closer spawns if you're heretics. We'll see how they end up coming through. But you start to attack, and that is a great sequence from Carolina to back them up. And flanking those close side spawns will be number one in Clay. He's trying to find an opening immediately, figure out where that spawn is. You already turned ahead there from heretics. Is you're still trying to slow this down. Yeah, I was, I was wondering there if they were going to get the close junk spawn spawn on Coop, but all the way towards back middle with Clay's position. He's going to reposition and find another one with Fellow. So what, it was a six life advantage, but ever since it's just come down to B, they finally now got into this setup and they have been so darn good. Yeah, I mean, after just getting bottled up, yeah, you had four straight for Fellow, four straight for Gwen. It's been fantastic. And yeah, what was the lead in line? Eight, somewhere in that ballpark. Now you've got it down to basically dead even. Even taking the lead, can you close out the round though? Is it could just be one burst, one moment. And they're trying to set up this sort of pinch here as one's working back out. If you find some big kills, you can spawn out real far, the Carolina players, if they're actually able to capitalize on this. Stun miss though, stun miss. So is this gonna give them a heads up? It's so calm though at the front, so Clay's not going to move. Lucky needs his teammates to find a kill or two so he can reposition until that happens. Clay's gonna be looking that at timing. this, oh. but he still wins it. Oh, I thought he got caught with like the worst timing ever, but you win it on both fronts. 15 seconds to go. Vickle, really the last person in an aggressive position. He's gonna have to probably get one or two to get them on through. Stun's going out, looking for openers. Desperation time, bobbing and weaving. Pressure to Gwen, who's looking for a streak. Hello, hi, oh, hi, hey, hello. Uh, I don't know what that was. Did we call a truce? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, did we just say GG's guys? It's just rock, paper, scissors, yeah. <laughs> best of three. <laughs> okay. Maybe they play on like a much lower FOV. I'm not sure. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yes, that, that's partly the case. But I was still thinking that would be covered there. And then like, that's I know just, that's kill six. That would be the. I know, I know for like Gwen, your eyes are probably like left side. You're thinking door probably for the Heretics player. I think you're staring right at him. I, I would think, or maybe he was pre-aimed on the bar. Yeah. 
whatever it is, that looked absurd. But uh, Gwyn will carry that five screen, and that's a really good rebound and answer from Royal Ravens because there were some frustrations after the last map, a very frustrating opening. And to be able to bring it back like that, I mean, it's been a resilient team, and you see a little bit of it there. Yeah, again, I think without some of TJ's plays, that could have got out of hand. No, you're, you're right. He allows them to get to be just sort of get into their setup, get into their flow, and then that works out. But Gwyn is able to find that cruise. Yeah, bridge side locked down. Has some focus on A. Lucky, though, does find Quinn just kind of lurking. I mean, the fact is, if you have somebody coop on defense, you're probably in an okay position for B. I mean, how many, how often do we see, like, a push right up the gut or, like, through back alley that wins it? Not, not often. No. Usually, that player's going to have to die. So, yeah, great job by TJ staying up, as you point out, throughout the round. So, good stuff there from you. And now Metal's trying to get some good stuff going. Able to flip one second is on him. Can't quite snap back. But Gwyn going to be kind of on an island this, now. Though. You're going to flood this. Yeah. It looks like they know that this could happen. So Gwyn gets through. He's the last player alive. Uh -oh. And then, wait, Clay spawns behind Real. I think the timing of the spawn works out. And now you're going to have three players on B. Immediate pressure from the A point. And that is tough. You just think you probably got a good timing to shoot people in the back. Instead, you get shot in the back. Real's nade hitting everything. Teammates, opposition, but the kill's still flowing out for Gwyn. Back on another streak. Died on five straight, now on four. Oh, sorry, died on six trays. He got the cruise. Now on four. TJ takes that, and it is done. Royal Ravens, they take advantage of the close side spawn, and they pounce. Well, I would have to see, like, the replay, but I'm pretty sure when Real starts to flank that Clay's still dead. As soon as he gets to junk, blocks the junk spawn, yeah, Clay spawns yeah. behind him, and then Clay's able to find the kill, and that is just cod sometimes. Yeah, it well, is I mean, it's a that game or, of seconds. It's that, or he's just spawning out across the entire map. Like, I, yeah, I mean, that's just that's what's going to happen. And you're not wrong. That is a game of seconds. That may be a, a frustrating one there, but when one streak to use, working on another, a chance to extend this series through the control. They've gone to all game fives throughout this qualifier. Can they get to another one? So far, great advantage. And this map three, fellow bobbing and weaving. Streak coming through early. Fine. He's not going to hit medals, but does get them off the point. Try getting TJ on A. You already have fellow junk side. Probably like to do a little bit more with that, especially well, now. Yes, you're thinking you're going to get another one, but then you don't. Yeah. <laughs> There's just not a lot of options on Karachi usually. It's just that A point with the cruises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're not wrong. Second tick about to be done. Wow. Vickle behind the stun, winning another fight. Felony, we're back to his POV, and he's again bobbing and weaving. Hit the 30 HP, but trying to wrap through, getting behind enemy lines. Shoots maybe a little too early, but the help is there from TJ. Quite, can't quite snap back, but TJ comes through with some big ones. He's able to get uh, it's two. It's the same thing. If he's not here and finds a double, they might all be on the B. You might have that anyways, though, for Heretics. Yeah, you know, TJ's been that, like, last man bail -off, that's Yeah, for him sure. and Fellow. Uh, I mean, Fellow, especially round one, was just all the time, like, back cafe, winning one-on-ones. Front side, it was TJ. At Miami are a gunfight away. I think both are attacking, have, like, two to three players on this B point. This is one of those interesting sequences, though, where you have, like, 47 seconds on. You never actually finished A, where, depending on how these next couple of, like, team fights go, suddenly you're up against the clock if you're heretics. Well, and I think that's why you saw one and three, Clay and TJ. They kind of cheat over towards A to start. They're hoping Gwyn just has a one-on-one. -on -one. Unfortunately for him, it was two players. Now everybody is here for Carolina to deal with this, but Real staying alive for now. Yeah, he's still up. It's still been at 47 seconds this entire time. Miami are going for B still. Still sending the pressure through, and this is why Metal's able yeah. to get to Vickle now into the point, dip and dive and dance and staying up. Metal's pushing it on forward, able to dodge the nade as well. Second bit of progress is done. Just about to finish A, and you get that. So the minute extension is in, maybe a scary round against the clock will stop. Now you've really got to clutch up and go crazy if you're Royal Ravens. Trying to burst on through, clear them out of the point. So little time to work with that they're able to contest at the last moment. Gwyn will get three of those. And now do they somehow hold for basically two minutes again? Because you've been so, you said it, you've been just like a kill away from winning an offense for your heretics not two rounds in a row. There's not multiple players on B there, but either way, Carolina clutching up, but they're going to have to be so darn good, as you said, to not give up a tick. You do get some pressure, but it's only lucky now on the point. They know that. They're going to deal with him. And now if you are Miami, you don't have close spawn, so things are really going to slow down. They're going to slow down, and yeah, I mean, you're okay for now. Minute 20 to go, so you have some time to work with. 
Kind of going to try to flank through mid, I believe. We'll be number four, number four. We'll keep an eye on Gwen and see what kind of diamond he's able to find. Looks like he was getting picked up, I thought, by Real for a second. But, yo, fights on both sides of this. TJ able to get two. Gwen still scrambling around looking for his opening. And at least delays the push a bit. But it's TJ going clutch again. They have just got smashed in this area of the map. They just have not been able to cross the to beam once Carolina has their setup. Another chance here. Your last chance to extend this game, but Clay with a nice pick, great patience, waits for it. Lucky on the point. Trying to hope Real can get there to help him out. 4v2, Real trying to get there, as you said, two versus four. Can you do it if you are heretics? It'd be a nutty one, because they are all grouped up. A team kill does come in, but now down to a 1v3 for Lucky. He's been lucky in some moments. He's had some clutches, but not gonna happen there. Is Royal Ravens able to win all three rounds and just some really good resilience and discipline to hold, what, two minutes and then 90 seconds? When you're getting just beat up really in the early going offenses from Heretics. Well, I mean, I, when the, the game was sort of chaotic, there was two points up. Miami had chance after chance. Oh, yeah. Both their rounds. But as soon as it just came down to holding B, they got smoked. Yeah, they did a really good job of never really panicking, I guess, if you're Royal Ravens, even though it felt like I, like I was panicking because it felt so lopsided early in some of those rounds. Did somebody, like, oh, there's did one somebody person else on get it. off of B? When you were mentioning why aren't there multiple players on it? Yeah, I, Maybe somebody hopped out the back door and tried to get an angle. I I, I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to look at it again. It, it almost looks like they were like hoping Carolina just went to A because they, they put a player on A. Maybe they were just thinking yeah. they're going to give up B. Maybe, maybe. I thought he was done. I blacked out. No, no, I hear you. I hear you. So, dude, sometimes, especially when there's like fights on both sides of it, like, <laughs> and you see two players there, you're, you know, when you're commentating, your eyes shoot to the mini map. You're just looking at how things are developing, and you, you blink, and you're like, how did they not finish that point off? Well, Call of Duty is fast, Joe. We'll let the Twitter experts let us know. But 3 0 there from Karachi. 2 1 though in the series. After a nice start from Heretics, we get ready to go over to Vista. Talk to me about Vista, Joe. Well, I think, yeah, I mean, this is a map both these teams have been strong at. I mean, Miami, this is one that they absolutely tried to put in their arsenal right away as soon as this map came in. 1-0, though, throughout the stage on the other side. Carolina, 1-2. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we saw it. First optic, they were able to win that one. Yeah, I feel like some of the upsets have come through Vista, honestly. Hard point. And a lot of the upsets we've had throughout this stage, TJ, such a crucial player for Carolina. I mean, we were giving him his props at the beginning of this series, the best we've seen him probably since Black Ops 4 for years. We'll see if we can find the moment you're talking about, Joe, and maybe you'll be able to see what happened and why they didn't finish off B. Yeah, I mean, round one was, yeah, there were a couple of moments, but here in this round, I I'm assuming, yeah, it was like right after this point, but yeah, we, we don't see it. That's okay. okay yeah. I'll go back because we're on the YouTube, so I can just rewind That's quickly. True. That's true. Rewind quickly and yeah, go and check out that round after. Carolina starting to get fired up now. I'm assuming they just took someone off the re Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. But I know what you mean. Like, you just you, you divert your eyes somewhere else. I was thinking about the flank or something. Next thing you know, things have fallen apart. It just felt insane because you had so many chances there if you were heretics, just unable to capitalize in the offenses. And Carolina makes you play. Now they extend this series. And are we going to another map five? I mean, it's been, yeah, uh, I think so. it's been Carolina. Like, that's all, that's all we're seeing, right? Like statistically, of course we are. Uh, dude, let's look at the stats like coming into this. Like just looking at the amount of maps between these two, how much they have played. I'm like, Carolina's put a ton. If they could just they get to everything, if they could just get to like a winner's bracket, and like sometimes like you go through those grueling online stages, you play all map fives and it just helps you, you a lot. It, you just get so many reps in, you're primed and ready to go come major time. I mean, it could end up being massive for them. But dude, it's just you're if you're a Carolina fan or the players like or heretic side, like your heart is just pumping. You are at prime stress levels throughout the stretch of this next month. Yeah, and I, I think for them, I mean, that was just a much better map in terms of their teamwork. The individual gunfights that they had, there weren't a lot of multi-kills. Like, compared to map one, there were so many streaks on the Heretic side, but you can see map one versus map four. Map one's been a lot better for, for Carolina. No, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, Carolina, for the most part, when all their, all, going all their game fives, they've gone up like 1-0 or 2-0 in series. Like, they, they've had the advantage in so many of them. I think that's why it's been so frustrating to watch a lot of their five game losses. It's like, it's just been like, can they close out? Can they close out? Can they close out? This one felt a little bit different because you lose that map one, you lose the map two. Now you're up against it and have to get to a game five a different way. And 
usually it's like a, you know, collapse or you can't win this map four and suddenly, you know, all that pressure's off of the map five. Now maybe you, you can win this, you're riding a high a little bit, kind of a different mentality going into a map five. Yeah, I think if, if they get there, they're gonna feel as confident as ever. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. with how many they have played. Like, all right, we're doing this again. Doing this again, that would be Karachi if we do get there, where they have been on, what, six and three on the year. So we'll see if they can get there, though, or will Heretics close this out? Oh, they're doing a good job so far. Finding all the early kills through the doors goes TJ. Not going to find an opening there. As lucky is ready and waiting. It's been flawless here so far. Not a kill on the board yet for Royal Raven. Flipped up. First one I thought maybe through ends up falling apart, but as you call out the flip, it's TJ finding some kills in and around the point. Yeah, I mean, you just saw the Miami players prone looking at the other doorway, and they just tough to recognize that when everyone is alive for your team, so your setup gets broken. And now it looks so good for Heretics out of the opening. Maybe you can get some time here and maybe get a transition to the next point. But as soon as I start talking, Heretics are able to get three, clear the point. It's all going to be on to TJ again, who's had some clutch moments across all modes. Can he find another one here? Takes another gunfight. TJ keeps on popping. The guy's been nasty with it, but now you got to try and get a break here. Yeah, I mean, that's it. It's like he kills two there. He's hoping his teammate is able to find Lucky. But Lucky, with the help of some nades over the top, able to lock down this P2. So you, you're doing it. TJ's clearing out P1. You have top middle control. That's going to be an easy break. You pinch that guy. But Lucky plays his life. What, you got an 0-10 star here for Clay's win. Yeah, as good as that looked for uh, TJ for a second there, I mean, you could add Fellow into that. You're about 3-16 and 16 across those players. So they have got nothing going early. They're obviously going to have to ramp it up. You got early control for Heritage. You've been battling off the back foot basically the entire time if you're Royal Raven so far. See if they can keep going. Yeah, I needed that break. Right around 25 seconds left. You have to win rotating. Miami do fight for a little bit of scrap. Now just trying to transition on over. So it's just winning. Metal's able to, to read these spawns. Those where the reinforcements are coming from. Nice little bait and switch there from Fellow and TJ. And Lucky now kind of in behind enemy lines. He's got the entire team to work with. And so far, the reads have been flawless. Lucky, a one-man wrecking ball in between all four players of Royal Ravens and able to pick up three. He did it at P2. Sheesh. He's done it here now. Just some... It's almost reminded me of map one, where it just comes down to a couple of key multi kills, and that's what heretics are just riding off of. Oh, they absolutely are. How far can they ride the wave? Real, multi for him. Shout out from Philo as the strongest lawn chair of all time. Is keeps medals alive for a moment, but then Real to follow it up. The stun of the top will hit 60 point advantage still, holding four heretics. Is with 13 seconds left, we start to see uh, our next hard point get ready to pop. And what do you see on the map? Is this the chance now for Royal Ravens? Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, if you are Royal Ravens, just control this P4. But Metal gets on through. Gonna break this setup. He's gonna find two. So he's able to find that route. Now you have the help of Victor here, at least just keeping this messy. It's only a 44 point game. Still a lot of opportunity left. But it's just those plays. Once yeah. again, yeah. that Miami's just not allowing Carolina to get set up. It, it's lucky, it's medals. They did it in map one, they're doing it here. No, exactly. Like, they look, you look at the map and it looks good. You're like, all right, you got your setup, or you're, you're darn close to it. And then the next three or four kills are all heretics. And it's like, okay, well, that fell apart. You at least battled back in. Some gritty stuff here from Royal Ravens to get in. Another wave of three kills for them as well. So, despite medals making it a bit messy early, a very big answer there is you're right back in this game if you're Royal Ravens. Yeah, it's a clean four dead. So, Clay. Those are the spawns are going to be. Does lose that one. Real gets a little bit of map position here. Trying to make this transition tough for Ravens across the map. He's going to get picked. Next player will be Vinko lurking. Just again, holding this P1 area. Such an important part of the map for the next three hills. Yeah, it's like just throw Ravens. Can you, you're trying to play a little structured. Can you avoid those moments of chaos where you're just kind of getting, getting beat up? Early kills through for Heretics. Bridge side control is going to be there. Crossfire through as well as Real's lining them up. 15 and 10 for him. Four straight for him. As I say that, he drops. No, I mean, that's just what they're allowing him to do. Make these sort of plays. But you saw on the other side of the minimap, it was Finkel who backs up, just blocks his spawns. They're, they're like, all right, yo, Real, do that. 
We're just gonna make sure nothing crazy happens and it has worked out. This has been such a clean P5 here for Heretics. Outclass them so far in the hard points, but at least this time it feels like you're still like chopping distance of your Royal Ravens, so you're kind of getting blown off the map early on in that map one. You get a little bit of an answer here to get some time. You know, P5 to P1 could be a massive moment for a squad. Do you get picked apart again at a bad time, though? Vickle with a multi-kill, medals with the third, Lucky with the fourth, and once again, just costly deaths at a bad time for Royal Ravens. No, it is, because, yeah, I think Gwyn would have locked down the middle of the map, but as soon as his teammates die, he starts to transition in, then he gets flanked by medals. Now you're going to have Lucky in this spot. So, yeah, that was a big chance for Carolina to get back in the game. It's the third or fourth of those, though. Third or fourth, where it's like, this, this is the moment. This is the time, and then... Heretics just bite and make the play. And now when they got back within 10 points or so, the lead's right back out to 80 in the blink of an eye. You've got P1 control. Can you do a better job this time of your Royal Ravens of contesting this and actually getting some time at P2? Yeah, I mean, just on an individual level, this Heretics team is playing throughout this series some great hard point. Yeah, they they're really frying. Are. They're uh, frying them. Everyone who needs to make a play in a certain moment is doing just that. Seems like the team is really good at sort of identifying, like, all right, this guy's in the position to make a play. Other three, lock stuff down, go make the play. And, uh, well, they're just <laughs> consistently getting it done. That That's one of the few times with a new hard point popping that you actually get a few kills if you're Royal Ravens. One of the few times in this map where maybe you get into a setup, but right after that, Metals and Lucky come on through, and it's messy yet again. Royal Ravens up against it right now. They lose this map. The series is done. Let's go to listen in with Royal Ravens. Got him, got him, got him. Got him. Got him. I'm one shot, I'm one shot. He's channeling off right side, time weak if you have a nade. Lucky's in time weak if you have a nade. He's got a trophy. Mid on me, guys. Trophy. No, I hear you mid. I'm looking over mid. Two on you mid. Both I'm go P1. I got him both mid. Nice, let's go. I'm hitting him mid. One hill. Lucky and medals. If the other guy's P1, nice. medals. I'm trying to stay alive. Hold it, hold it. Huge 20. Rotate. Let's fucking go. They might hit all. I'm I'm I got some middle. I got some top burger. I need it for mid real. It's gonna go left field real. Nothing mid. Nothing mid. Other one left for me, Vickle. I'm helping you left. I'm helping you left. Give me low left. He's on the ult. Low left. Oh, mid, mid, mid. Mid dead. Vickle's gonna be through. Middle's dead on the ult. gonna be through. One more mid, 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 mid. They're back, I think. And Vickle's gonna be deep, dude, bro. Yeah, yeah, we need to play for Vickle, guys. Real push on you. Vickle's going to be in the back, guys. Gonna be deep, bro. Mid, yo. Random mid, Vickle, that's him. Another one mid, tree door, tree door. Vickle's gonna be through. 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 Vickle's gonna I think three I have a trope on you. Could be low. Could be low. Whoa, whoa, back. Backstairs. He I went backstairs. Back. He went back into low. Real. He went back into low. Sunny. Okay, I have your backstairs. Low, low. Take low. 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 It's done. Coming trees. Low. Coming trees. Pushing him up. Fuck. Another one. He'll come in. Back he'll elbow or something. Vickle back elbow or something. I don't know. Vickle in the back. in the back. I spawned out. I want your trees. Got one trees. One more back. I found another door. Vickle's back side of time. He's one shot. Front desk. Front desk. Front desk. He wants back. One shot. Nice. Vickle front desk. He's looking at me. Going pillars. He's towards pillars. Pillars just got me, bro. Alright, it's fine. We flip. Front side bar. Might just one out too, maybe. Laying down pillars, okay, guys? Running new bear. Instead of midsters. I can get that guy. Top oh, burger, man. Dead. Nice shit. Oh, burger, trees, trees on us, weak. Trees weak. Trees, where do you go? You want? You uh, went, no, no, he went towards old. old. Went towards old. One new bear. Come bar, come bar. Back, back music. One bar on old on me. I'm pushing out pillars. We don't have your front. On old on me, guys. Rail, they cool. Battle's dead. They flipped out. Who is it? I don't Lucky. know. They're spawning front. In the back, elbow, elbow. Back 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 up with it. I spun out. I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Sergio. Top burger. I need a time. Burger, one shot. He's hitting Mr. Sergio. Mr. Sergio. Send a time. Mr. Sergio. Send a time. Time is one though. Come on, Mr. Sergio. Be top burger. He won. 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 Top burger about one shot. Lucky trees. Lucky is Grand out burger one shot. Lucky trees. Middle and hill. Nice. Lucky is Grand out here. Mid stairs one shot. Mid stairs. Lucky. Mid stairs. Lucky. Mid stairs. Lucky. Top burger. He jumped off on you. I'm going to. I'm one bullet. Go. No one. Back pillars. Going to time. Metal. One more middle map. Real. Middle map to P1. Real. We can't run now. We also P1. Go top out here. He might turn low here quick. Top trees. He's in P1 bar. He's hitting time. Yeah, left heady. Left heady, guys. Yeah, he's on him. Bow, bow. Back a week. And their door. One's their door. One's behind rocks sometimes. Now, got my. Their door, their door. Close up. Really good. And then bar behind you. One time we. 